Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, real quick, uh, we're gonna do a little couple minute video on removing a regular size plaster uh, short leg cast. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a cast saw to do that. But before we get into the cast saw, I wanna talk a little bit about plaster versus fiberglass uh, cast removal. Um, as we all know, there's only one way, well, essentially only one safe way to get a plas uh, fiberglass cast off. And that's usually with a cast saw. Uh, you'll see people try different methods, uh, home methods and stuff, which we don't recommend and it's not safe. Um, differing from the fiberglass, the plaster, there are variations on how you can take a plaster cast off. For example, if somebody is very adamant that they do not want to use a cast saw on their, uh, in this particular case, a child, uh, they can remove uh, with the doctor's permission, they can remove a plaster cast at home. And the way you would go about doing that, um, like they used to do in, in the old days, they would, the, if you would come in to have, uh, before the days of, of the cast saw, uh, they'd have the patient come in, um, they would soak the cast, either wrap it with wet towels, or they would actually literally soak the cast in a bucket or, or a deep sink. And as the cast, as the plaster would start to soften, you could actually cut it. You could actually cut through the plaster uh, with regular, uh, uh, back then they had uh, cast scissors. They were a little bit more rugged than the scissors we have now. Um, and I'll show you those in just a moment. Um, however, uh, like I said earlier, we're gonna use the cast saw. The different ways to soak it off, you can soak it off with warm water. You can, uh, you can soak it off with warm water and vinegar. I have even been told uh, and read that you can soak it off with uh, warm water and fabric softener. Uh, you'll, as you're looking around YouTube on removing plaster casts, there are other home remedies, but those are, I think, in my opinion, I think those are the most common ones that I've uh, read and I've been told about and have also been uh, told by parents are the most successful. However, when you are soaking, whether it's just water or it's water and vinegar or it's water and fabric softener, be prepared to spend a fair amount of time removing that plaster cast at home. It's just not going to, you're not going to just soak it and it's just going to start to fall apart. That's not going to be the case. Uh, you will have to probably unravel some parts of it and parts that you cannot unravel, you'll probably have to cut with, with safety scissors um, if it's something you're going to end up doing at home. Uh, again, that's per the doctor's orders. There are some doctors that are totally fine with that and they will actually let you as the parent or you as the patient, they will let you know, yes, in three weeks time or four weeks time, uh, the morning of your appointment or the night before your appointment, you have my uh, doctor's permission to remove your cast in one of these following ways. And then there are other MDs or other surgeons that will say no, the cast stays on until you come back to the office and we will remove it here. So those are some variations on removing a plaster cast versus a fiberglass cast. So that being said, uh, we're gonna pause here in just a second. I'm gonna get everything set up and we're gonna go ahead and take this cast off for you. So as uh, we said just a second ago, uh, we're getting ready to take this plaster cast off. Um, just wanted to cruise the, the exam table here and show you the, the, the different stages of cast removal tools over the years. Um, of course, we you know we're going to be using the uh, the cast saw and vac to remove this, but but prior to that, there there have been other types of tools that you can use to go through the plaster. Uh, and again, they work very very well once you've softened the plaster up a little bit. They just cruise right through it. So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and take this off now. I will not be talking while removing the cast uh, because we know that the cast saw and the the cast vac working together unison they they're they're a bit loud so uh i'll just do i'll just go ahead and remove it and then talk after we remove it so that way uh, but just remember too that i'm going to be using the in and out method so as i'm as i'm penetrating the, the the plaster i'll be going in and out each time so not to penetrate through the cotton and uh here we go
So we've gone ahead and cut through the plaster. All we're doing now is spreading it apart. And we'll go ahead and remove it. And then the next part of the three part removal process will be the scissors. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and removed the, uh, the plaster cast. All the cotton is intact. We penetrated just the plaster with the cast saw. And that is your basic how to remove a plaster cast from a, a, a teen or adult size leg. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks again for watching.